Okay, so I'm going to just show you how I pre-draw my winged eyeliners and get my placement very quickly and very easily. So using my white pencil, I'm looking at the angle the outer corner of the lower lid is sitting at and I follow that angle up onto the top lid. So it's like you're just extending that lower lash line upwards. I then use a black non-toxic gel pen and I put a dot on the very last eyelash of the upper lid on the outer corner. So that's where my wing needs to taper off. And then I'm looking for the crease in the lid and that's the top part of my wing. I never take my winged eyeliner past this crease um, because when your client's eyes are open, the wing will never sit straight. And then we also need to bear in mind the aging process and how that part of skin is going to droop over time. It's important to remember when you're doing a winged eyeliner on the eyelid, this is not really a temporary option, especially if you're using a carbon black, this is gonna pretty much be permanent. So I then just use the white pencil again to mark that crease of the lid out with my clients looking straight ahead just so I know that is my end point and I'm not gonna take my wing past that area. And then I'm just gonna repeat the same on the other side. So I'm gonna follow the lower lash line up. I'm gonna use my gel pen to put my two dots in place and my start and end point. When you're coming up out of the lashes, try and curve your wing. It looks much softer and much more flattering as opposed to wedging it, unless of course your client wants a wedge. But from that last lash, I'll always curve up into this white line. Once I'm happy, I always get my client to double check this for me, make sure she's happy with my placement before I lay her down and get ready to start the procedure. Once she lays down, I use a thin micro brush to just really tidy up and neaten this line. Just so I can really, really see my placement and comparison onto the other side to make sure I am symmetrical. I then roll the lash line back and continue my wing into the lash line. So this is where I'm curving that wing into the lash line and that very, very last lash where I put my dot, I kind of just miss it out and curve just above it into the lashes. This is what gives that really soft, gentle lift to the eye as opposed to like a harsh kind of wedged eyeliner. I always get my client to open so that I can check the placement and then again adjust if I need to. So once I'm happy with my wing placement, I'll then take a single needle and I start in the lash line and curve it up and tattoo that placement in. This is the first part I always do on my winged liner so that I don't lose my pre-draw. So just very, very, very lightly, just a really slight etch up that wing. You never want to start on the tip of the wing because you always should be tapering out of the skin here. It should always be the softest point. So I hope that helps.